Hello, my name is Zeke White. Uh, I did my presentation on creativity in schools. Now, what do I mean by creativity in schools? When I say creativity in schools, I'm referring to the creative-based electives that we've all probably taken throughout high school and middle school. Classes such as creative writing, drawing, painting, ceramics, and etc. These classes are technically required in schools to be taken as an elective, but they aren't nearly as focused on or important to schools as your other core classes, such as math, English, or science. So what is my research question? My research question is, should schools put more money and time into making creative classes a requirement in middle school and high school? What do the opposing sides say and what are the opposing sides? There are two definite sides of this topic, whether we should bring more creativity into our schools or if we should just keep things as is and focus on the core classes. When I talk about bringing creativity into schools, I'm mainly talking about funding these creative classes, making them much more accessible, and possibly making them a requirement just as a core class is. What, do, what are the opposing sides saying? Those in favor of bringing more creativity in schools are saying that it will be extremely beneficial for the students throughout their lives. Some are saying that the focus on creativity has diminished after you leave elementary school because of standardized tests and a focus on good grades. Over the last few decades, a proportion of students are receiving arts over the last few decades, the proportion of students receiving arts education has shrunk drastically. This trend is primarily attributable, attributable to the expansion of standardized test-based standardized test -based accountability, which has pressured schools to focus resources on tested subjects. Here's a cartoon I have demonstrating the lack of creativity in students. We see someone being interviewed for a job. Uh, the interviewer is asking uh, what his qualifications, like what uh, qualifies him for this job because he was in a public school. And his response is, is that a multiple choice, true or false, or fill in the blank question. This kind of shows that the schools have mainly just wired students' brains to only think in these testing situations where everything, it's either like a right or wrong answer and not multiple possibilities. It's just either yes or no. Here is a video I have demonstrating creativity in schools. Why we study art? Art in school shouldn't be sidelined. It should be right there, right up in the front, because I think art teaches you to deal with the world around you. It is the oxygen that makes all the other subjects breathe, Alan Parker, the filmmaker, said. School in general is so stressful. This is the one lesson I look forward to every week because I know it's not going to majorly stress me out. A student commented, School is all very robotic. It's all very, it needs to be this, this, and this. You can't do this because it's wrong. It's all following a strict script. That's not what we're made to do. We're made to be our own person. We're made to go off and do something that someone else hasn't done before. A student commented. Creativity is critical thinking. And without it, how are you going to open up and ask harder questions? Art opens up those possibilities to think beyond what we already know. Catherine Opie, the artist, said. Learning through and about the arts enriches the experience of studying while in school, as well as preparing students for life after school. So as we see in that video, it is talking about how school is all very black and white. It's all very right or wrong, this, this, and this. You have to do these things in order to succeed in life. Uh, what I really like about that video is how it mentions the fact that a lot, like, if not the majority of jobs nowadays are looking for more creative aspects so you can be innovative and come up with unique solutions to certain problems. The other side is saying uh, that we need to focus more on core classes and standardized tests. They could possibly think this because they believe that succeeding in a core class means you'll succeed in college or real life. And sadly, in many cases, that is what colleges focus on. 
They will focus on your ACT or SAT scores. They will focus on your grades throughout high school, even though like they don't they don't see what is going on in each student's lives. They don't know how that in particular person learns. Where uh, with one person it could be extremely difficult to learn in that standardized test taking fashion, but uh, another student could excel in it. My solution and opinion. I think that schools should definitely fund and focus on creative courses in school. It will heavily benefit students in the long run by keeping their brain running through their creativity. It will uh, teach a student's brain how to be innovative and, like I said before, how to solve uh, problems creatively. And it, it could be used in literally any job you can think of. This is my works cited page. Thank you very much.